Here's Sean Monahan. Top line right back out there for Bob Hartley. Stall breaks that up, and here's a chance now to Joe Siri pass scores. Hoodler opens the scoring for the Calgary Flames right after the penalty kill. And the Flames lead 1-0. This line got split up a couple of games ago. And they moved Hoodler down to the second line. The move for Lee Cup. And since they put them back together against Detroit, all they did was combine for five points. And right here, you have got to be sharper in your end than that. Last night, the Rangers defense made a couple of errors in their end that led to some goals. And here it's Mark Stahl that gets stolen from. And Gaudreau picks it up. The Rangers, after being acquired late in the season, talk about a busy guy, he played 103 games last season. Regular season in playoffs, quick shot, stopped by Hiller. Rebound went across the goal mouth. His second game as a Ranger. Came over from Anaheim in the deal that sent Carl Hagelin out west. Here's Hamilton now. Hamilton towards the net, and Ronta makes the stop, and he will hang on. You know. Yeah, both Kobe Baker nominations in the same year. National champions played for my old coach, Jerry O. Here's a chance, stepping in. Carsey's Pete looking for Hoover again. A blast from the point from the Dennis Weidman. And that is swallowed up by Ronta. Dano chops it in there. And then Brown back to get it. Up to his new partner, Ryan McDonough. McDonough Girardi has split up here in New York. Spinning in there is Dominic Moore trying to backhander. And that is held on to by the Calgary Netminder. Backlin will drop it off for Chris Russell. Little move there at center ice by Colburn doesn't work. And here comes now. Shoots and he shot that wide rebound over the stick of Miller. A pass for Emerson Edom. Edom out wide. Took a look back and then just cycles it in deep. Now slide, Schneed is back there. The Rangers still with it. Moore centers it in front and a chance for Edom. Broussard out to win that draw and he does. There's a shot and Hiller's side of the last second. Rebound chance and they couldn't get a shot on net. Stall across. Hiller with a blocker save on that one-timer by Kreider. And he's been getting it done here since becoming a New York Ranger. Such an important part of their offensive attack. Here come the Calgary Flames, short-handed. Backlund takes a drive, but that's off the blocker. Abronta into the corner. Here comes J.T. Miller, straight up the middle. And Miller is stripped, and that is clear. And now here's a chance for Backlund. Backlund, short-handed break. In there, stop, rebound. He got that too. Two big saves by Ante Abronta to keep it 1-0. And held in by Colborne. Yander. Going to ward off Michael Frolik. Maybe one last rush here for the Rangers as they head up ice. Here's Kreider, long range shot, and Hiller has that one. No rebound. And we'll get him into that center role for a long time. Three goals for Bennett in the playoffs. He does not have a goal yet in the regular season. Here's Grant now. Grant marching in there. The puck got away from him, and Ronson will hold on to it. Back up top for Giordano, his wrist shot is blocked and it goes to the near boards. Weidman hustles in there to keep it alive and he does. Monahan slides it across. Giordano snapshot right on rebound was almost there for Monahan. It hopped over his stick and the Rangers clear it. Comes Sam Bennett now. Bennett's wrist shot rebound is there when Ronson came across and may have just gotten enough of that. Hard charging Josh Juris. Here's Juris in for Backlund. Backlund down low, throws it up front looking for Bennett, and that didn't miss by much. Russell up on his horse, lead pass looking for Jones, got away from him, Girardi keeps it moving. Back up to six, here's Lindbergh, still up by Hamilton, following up his stall. The defenseman stepping up in the play, gets it to Hayes. Hayes deep in the corner, tries a sharp angle shot. And it goes right back into the corner for Stahl. We had a season-high 40 shots on that Friday against the Red Wings, and they look to be building on that pressure here tonight. Here's Miller along the side boards. Can't get it past Russell. His wrist shot into traffic. With the Riddlers right in front of Ronta. The helper tonight. His parents from Salem, New Jersey. Making the trip in, Gary. Big collision there between Miller and Weidman. To Miller, his drive good. Kick saved by Hiller, who has not been busy at all in this period. Here's Hayes. Up from behind the net. Back in. Feed a score. Oscar Lindbergh has tied the game.
On their 10th shot, the Rangers hit Pater. And who else is it but the Grouch, Oscar? He comes right up, he tracks his puck to the boards, and he keeps it alive. Hamilton can't snare it off the wall, and that leaves it for Hayes. And a nice behind-the-back pass. And Hamilton does not pick up Lindbergh. You see him cruising back to the front. He doesn't get his stick in the lane like he did on the Nash play. And it doesn't take much for Lindbergh to get a stick off the puck away from Stoll, but Edom in support gets it to Moore, can't find it, it escapes, and Bennett's got it. Sam Bennett steps into the line, gives it up, gets it back, Schneid with a drive, and Rata sees it and stops it. Ackland gets it away to Joe Colborn. Colborn down the left side, Cole drives, shoots, and he just fired it wide as he was hit while he was releasing the shot by Boyle. There's so many players in the league that can make something out of absolutely nothing, and, and he's one of those guys where he can look like he's stuck in a phone booth, and the next thing you know, he's at your net. Step out of the Rangers, step in. That's with a shot right into the glove of Jonas Hiller. A little tangled up there, crowd didn't like that, and the Rangers gain possession. Setting up a stole into the high slot. Here's Gerard, he scores! Dan Girardi with his first of the season, and it's 2-1 Rangers. Alan Vigneault has not liked the play of Dan Girardi, so he broke up that pairing of McDonough Girardi. It's been for years. Added Klein there, and Girardi has quietly worked on his game. And right here, that's the penalty that the crowd wanted and maybe should have gotten. And the Rangers just stay on the puck, and they stay on task. And everybody's following the puck. Everyone's magnetized towards it, and nobody's got their head on a swivel to find Dan Girardi. Everyone's just staring right there, and look who's wide open as three flames. Taking his way up the ice is Sean Monaghan, throws it across, back door. That shot from Ferlik, blocked by Stoll. Back to the point, moves across to the captain, Giordano loads and fires, and he just missed, glove side. It's a 21 and 22 year on that, two year old on that line with tons of energy and, <laughs> and talent. Here's Hayes now. Hayes tries to center it. Well, it's working out for him. He's coming out of his career best season. Here's Miller, tries to settle it off the skates of Hayes into the near point. Here's Hayes, in some traffic. Another big stand up of the line by Schmid as he leaned into J.T. Miller. Bennett has that bounce right into the middle of the ice and it's in up with Hayes, his shot in the traffic. Miller gets that pad down and holds on to it. Here's Yandel. He can certainly create from back there. Puts it in on Hiller. Bounces out in front. Hiller comes across. Makes a great stop. Another one that scores. And it's 3-1 New York. Well, a rebound that maybe Jonas Hiller would like to have back and a rebound that created a real big problem for the Calgary Flames. Transition in the neutral zone as Calgary's making a change. You see them all coming in. And that light shot from out by the wall, Hiller doesn't handle it. And by not handling it, he lets it dip right back out into the slot and eventually it's gonna find its way to the point. There is right there and then the second shot and the poor clearing off goes right to the point. He's making his way to the bench while the Rangers step in. Here's Brassard. Brassard with some room, snaps a shot, scores! Derek Rassard and the floodgates have opened up here at Madison Square Garden. Everybody on the Ranger bench was showing concern for Ryan McDonough, who again, a puck rides up the stick in the neutral zone. He looks like he's gonna be okay as, as this long launch pass hits Hoodler and comes right up in the face, but that's the transitional turn of the puck. I don't know if he's gonna get a helper on this, but he certainly started it off. And it's the defensive zone coverage that's just not tight enough. I think it's a bit of a long shift for Russell. He's been out for a bit. He's not tight enough to the coverage, and it allows this puck to circle. It allows the player to circle. That's Zuccarello trying to return feed in for McDonough. And Russell chops at it. It comes free for Kreider. Teed up on the backside. There's a good stop here by Orteo on his first save of the night. Off the stick there of McDonough. That also is wide. Here comes Stepan. 
Derek Stepan looking for some help. Shoots in on Orzio. Got a piece. Rebound goes up in the air. Now the Calgary Flames, who really, I thought, started the second period well. They had a one-goal lead at the time. They are going to go down here in New York again. And now they have to get right back on the horse against the Islanders. Dominic Moore with a shot. Orzio makes the save. As time winds down on this one, on this Sunday night in New York City, the New York Rangers win again their sixth win of the season. And that is now points in five consecutive games. 